When was the last time I even played this game? Oh, it was a, only a month ago. And for some reason, a month ago felt like a fucking while. Anyways, yeah, so. Okay. So. Okay, I need to stop making this joke. Alright, so. Survive the Night has finally updated again. And it seems that, like... Yeah, it's only been a month and stuff, but for some reason that one month felt like a while. And I mean a while. I do not know why, but it felt like a while. And as you can see here, I have one of the brand new um, armors in this new update. Um, hold on a second, let me just check out how much there is real quick. Let me just, real quick, give me a second. People take their time. Anyway, so yeah, um... Um, Season of the Yeti Refresh Part 2. So they basically just brought back Season of the Yeti this year and stuff, and they actually added a few more, few new things. Two new armors, two new weapons, a new slasher skin, new gear, new tool, new voice, and new taunt. Oh so yeah, not that much in this update, but wait, there's more. Yeah, there's more. So let's just go to tools real quick. I'm sure it's going to be no- What's this? Experimental? What could this possibly be? What's this? Blue key card? Green key card? Purple key card? Red key card? Yellow key card? Yeah, okay, you get it. So, yeah, it seems that when when this update came out, a new secret weapon actually came out along with it, and they actually didn't, like, tell us about it, because, of course, it's secret. Shh. Be quiet. Don't talk about it. Anyways, um, so yeah. And let's just say this took me... Not that long, but it really felt long and stuff, because I had to go through, like, people not picking the map I wanted them to pick and stuff, you know, like, the slasher's killing me when I'm about to, like, get one of the key cards. Yeah, it was pretty much hell, honestly. Once again, it survived the night. Of course, it survived the night, so what do you expect? So, yeah. So, there's this new weapon. Hold on. Um, yeah, it's, like, in... I don't... Yeah, experimental. So, prototype... Hold on, let me just... Experimental, prototype energy weapon, heavier than a standard SMG with a lower damage output, but the battery slowly refills. Very interesting. So, yeah, this is basically the new hidden weapon that came out along with this update. And the thing is, I didn't even know that this armor even, like, existed. Like, I didn't see any videos about it, I didn't see GMT's video, or even Pumpkin's video about it. I didn't even know that Pumpkin Smasher armor did, it even existed. And it seems that to actually get this, you actually have to, like, win, like, a round, like, during Halloween and stuff. Which I'm pretty pissed off because I didn't get notified and stuff. I mean, it's kind of my fault and stuff since I didn't, like, f like, f like, press the follow button on the game and stuff because that's how you get notified on when updates came out, come out and stuff. So yeah, it's technically my fault and stuff. So, yeah. I get karma, so yeah, karma kicked me in the ass. Anyways, um, so yeah. We're not going to be reviewing this because, of course, I missed it. Because I didn't turn the no notifications on during that time. So, yeah, but for now, we're checking out the new armor first and stuff. Um, hold on, let me just reset real quick. So that you guys can see the new armor, like the new weapon and stuff. But yeah. As you're going to already see and stuff, this is the Yeti weapon, and this is the experimental weapon. No, it's not on my penis. Why, why were you thinking of that? But yeah, um, yeah, this was basically just, like, this is basically a very hard, like, weapon to actually get and stuff, because, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, like, showing you how to get it, actually, but the thing is, I'm not gonna actually be going to all the maps, like, trying to get the key cards all over again and stuff, because, number one, it took me a very while, so I'm not going to experience that again. And number two, I'm not going to be experiencing it again. So, yeah. So, here are the maps where the key cards... No one cares. Alright, okay, hold on. Okay, so, I'm going to be just showing... I'm going to be, like, clicking on the maps, like, where, like, these key cards are. So, yeah, from what I remember, um... The... I... Okay, so the roof on the rooftops, there's the blue key card. Um, you, you know, hold on. First, I'm okay. So rooftops, blue key card. Um, yellow or green key card. The sundown. Um, two thousand one hundred eighty-three. Um, let's see. Frigid Marsh. I think the red key card. No, I think it was this one. So it's either. Look, it's either a green key card or yellow key card. Like, 
probably the green and like yellow and stuff. And finally, um, I think the moon base had the purple key card. Once again, I do not remember. Like, I plan to actually like re screenshot these and stuff to actually like show you guys when we're recording this video. But of course, my dumbass forgot and stuff because I was too busy. Like, I was too focused on actually trying to complete it. So yeah. But I did actually took one screenshot, though, of, like, a crate and stuff. So, yeah, basically, once you find all of, like, hold on. Okay, so I'm basically just going to be showing you Pumpkin, Pumpkin's video about it. Shout out to Pumpkin, though. I, I hope, hopefully I don't forget putting the, his channel and, like, video in the description below. But, yeah, so, um, let's just search it up real quick. Trust me, I don't, I don't want to experience that whole thing again and stuff. Besides, I have a lot more videos to actually record today. Um... That's not... God fucking... Yeah, there he is, Pumpkin. And, yeah. Okay, so, um... He also... Yeah, he showed us how to get that. Wait. You know, I'm not even... I'm not even gonna, like, figure out what that is. Um... The Elite Armor. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I think this is supposed to be, like, a joke thing or whatever. I don't really know, but whatever. Oh I don't care about the... A okay, so, yeah, um... Hold on. So, let me just, so yeah, see it right there, right there, the, son of a bitch, okay, so, so this is supposed to be the blue key card, and what you need to do to actually get this key card is, when you spawn into the map, like, go to the other side of, like, like, go, f go through, like, that, that craner or whatever those um, construction workers use and stuff and then you'll be on the next bill on top of the next building and stuff and then go to where this broken train is i don't even know how the train even got there and then boom you're gonna find a hunt operative probably got killed by the train and yeah he had the blue key card so you basically have to take his key card and then do and then just um uh, yeah so hold on um ah yellow key card was in the yeah yeah shit i forgot um so yeah um Mother okay, so right here is the yellow key card, and to and you basically just need to get into the abandoned moon base, moon base, and then basically just follow Pumpkin's step. It, like I suggest watching his video since I'm honestly not gonna actually show you like follow my lead and stuff because once again I don't want to experience it again. So yeah, it was pretty much hell. So yeah, just watch his video and stuff. And yeah, all, I, all I'm gonna say is that it's like near like one of these like broken like ships or whatever, like these spaceships and stuff so yeah so yeah that's the purple key card and yeah once again just watch punk's video about it and stuff and just follows lead and stuff and yeah it's supposed to be like next to a store or whatever like in this house and stuff i think it's supposed to be a house but yeah and this is frigid marsh and stuff i thought the red key, key card was here but yep i was wrong so yeah i do know where this is it's like where like those haze were and stuff yeah, where those people are. So yeah, basically where this little, like, area is and stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it does have some hay. All I know is that. And yeah, um, another hunt operator has it and stuff. Who's dead, and you basically need to take its green key card. Green card. And now, the campground. So, yeah, again, follow Pumpkin's lead and just watch this video about it. Um... I'll make sure to link in the description below. Hopefully, I don't forget and stuff because sometimes I usually forget. And yeah, it's basically like in. So yeah, it's basically like in the house, like close to you, I think, like on your right and stuff, like, like in, in on the corner right or whatever. Um, and yeah, you have to go upstairs, go to your like left and like right and stuff upstairs, like to the only door there and stuff, and then boom, the right key card's right there. So now you might be wondering, what do you do with these key cards exactly? Well, I'm gonna show you. And luckily, I actually took a screenshot of one of these crates. Why did why did I say crate, you may ask? Well, um, hold on. There's a video from, um, okay, um, where is it? Right here, so. Okay. So yeah, you see this? You see this? I'm sure you see that. There are some other people right here, but we're not going to worry about them. You see this? You see this? You see this? I'm sure you see this. That is one of the crates. So, so basically, there's like these crates around specific maps 
that you need to find this stuff with one of, with the key card with the Pacific key card key card equipped in. So if like um if if like there's a green crate and stuff like around a, like a map that you're in, then you need to have the green card that green key card equipped it and stuff, and so that it could actually work. And it and this doesn't actually and. And this doesn't work with, like, other key cards and stuff, because, of course, it's a different color, what do you expect? And also, here's another thing. Slashers cannot actually use these key cards, because they can't, they don't have this tool right here, because you actually need to, like, click on this and stuff to actually make the key card work, you know? So, yeah, basically, once you, once you, like, okay, so, so, yeah, um, okay, so, this... So the green, the green, the green key card. Look, I cannot speak. Okay, the green key card crate is in like one of the two anomalies map and stuff. I think the desert, the dis, d deserted commune. I think yeah, basically just the village map, but uh, not no snow and stuff. So yeah, um, it was kind of difficult for me to actually find this green crate in this map. So yeah, just letting you know and stuff. Um. And once you find this green crate, like any of the crates and stuff with the key card, the Pacific key card equipped, you get a tool. And this tool is just not even needed and stuff. Like it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do jack shit. It's only for the experimental weapon. So, like I said, the green crate is in the deserted commune. And make sure you have or no, fuck. Okay, it was it's actually the yellow key card. I for some reason I get the green and yellow yellow like mixed up mixed up kind of but yeah so make sure you have the yellow key card equipped once you get into the deserted commune like map I, I'm sure I'm getting that word wrong um and then you just find the yellow crate and stuff use your tool use the tool like the yellow key card on this and then you will get the tool like from that map and once again that is not needed like the tool is not needed but but it is used for an experimental weapon at the end. Just to let you guys also know is that um the crates will spawn like at, like anywhere and I mean anywhere like I'm not joking like it will spawn like anywhere itself like so you have to make sure that and stuff because if you don't see like the crate and stuff you saw from last round and stuff in the in that Pacific map then it spawns somewhere else and you need to go find that and before like the slasher who like kills you and stuff um. So yeah, and also I heard that the crates have a 50% chance to actually spawn and stuff, so you have to remember that too. If you don't see the crate anywhere around the map, then sorry, you didn't get that chance on that map. And it's most likely gonna be, like, it's most likely gonna spawn in the next round. Okay, so, um, so, so the blue crate is in the isolated farm steed and stuff. Um, yeah, it... Yeah, one of the locations I know where it spawns is right here, in the corner, like, in the underground, like, bunker or whatever and stuff. Um, like, next to, like, this, this kind of desk and stuff, you know? Like, like, with this plant and stuff, but, like, yeah, and then once you, like, do, hold on, let me... Yeah, see? See right there, the internals tool, which, once again, these are not use, th these are not useful until the very end of the quest. And now, the purple crate, which is in... Okay, move out of the way, Blair. Yeah, the yeah, you don't see it, but yeah. Um this is supposed to be the purple crate. I I yeah, I could see like the little purple spot right there. And so and yeah, it, um the purple crate is supposed to be in the snowy field map and stuff. And let's just say this might be kind of difficult because this purple crate can actually spawn in like anywhere in the grass and stuff. And the grass, the, this grass in here is basically like a maze and stuff. So you basically, you have to keep a real eye out for like this crate and stuff. Like if you see like a perp, like purple glowing or something, like then that, that's it and stuff. And I suggest lowering your graphics down and stuff because, um, going, putting your graphics high up and stuff is probably not going to be like more difficult, most likely. So and yeah, what you get from this is the targeting tool. Okay, so the green crate. Um, I got. I think I I missed. I mistake. Okay, no one cares. I mistaken like the yellow crate with the green crate and stuff. But this is the actual green crate. So this green crate, it doesn't spawn in like the isolated farm seed or something. No, it actually spawns in the practice course. Like it, like you know the tutorial map and stuff in hunt mode and stuff. Yeah, that map. So. Yeah, um, just equip your key, green key card and stuff, and then um, you basically have to just like go through the practice course. And it's most likely gonna like spawn like here where all the players are and stuff. Um, like I think from like the 
yeah, like around the fourth area and stuff, like, like it can either spawn that, like, yeah, it can either spawn like first area, second area, but most, m mostly just like the fifth, fourth, or third, I think. And yeah, what you get from this is the frame tool and the concrete jungle. So no, it's not an actual jungle. It's basically just the whole Godzilla city map and stuff. But yeah, this is the red crate. And once again, you have to equip like your red key card and stuff. And then you basically have to just use that red key card and stuff to, to just open this crate and stuff. And then boom, you get like the tool and stuff. And yeah, um, it spawns like, like, it has a chance to like spawn like like in like in the middle of these dumpsters and stuff, but I don't think for me it actually spawned like that. I I don't I can't really remember where the crates actually spawned and stuff. But yeah, and for this one we we got the capacitors capacitors. I don't even know if I got that right. And yeah, I think that was all it. So yeah, now for the end of the quest. Okay, so once you found all the key cards used on the crates on the Pacific maps and stuff, now you need to go here and stuff. See, this is a little workshop right here. And see this button? And what you need to do is interact. And then boom, that's the experimental SMG weapon. So yeah, once you find all the weapons, or no, fuck. Once you find all the key cards used on the crates, you have, you have to go into the middle tent and stuff, and then and then just interact with this and stuff, and then boom, that's how you get things. Experimental weapon and stuff. So yeah, I mean no, I'm not gonna join the map because I have the roof of the armor and like the weapon, weapons and stuff. So, I mean I, I don't really even need to like you know like a like like review the weapons and stuff because like. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Never mind. Okay, we're just we're just gonna review the experimental weapon for the for the sake of it in this map and stuff because, you know, I worked so hard on it, so. Yeah. Alright, so let's just go find that little battery charge weapon. Okay, so So basically when you So basically when you find Okay, so it seems that when you find, yeah, so, so basically when you find, like, auto, like, ammo, it, like, those ammo packs and stuff, um, I, I guess it just recharges your bat, like, your, the battery on your weapon and stuff, so, that's kind of cool, um, hey, you, yeah, you, yeah, you want a piece of me, you want a piece of me, huh, come here, come here, no, 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 come here, come here, hey, where are you going, huh, I ain't doing you, I ain't doing you, no, get over here, come on, oh, shit. Alright. No, where's that fucker? No, come here. Come here. Come on. You want some? You want some? You want some? Where are you? Where are you? Huh? You being invisible like me? Oh shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Yo, square up. Square up, bitch. Square up. Square up. Square up. Shit. Um, um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a joke, man. It's, it's. Okay, never mind. He, he just gave up. I guess he just wanted to go down with the fight, actually, so. Alright. Um. Oh, so. Yeah, so. Oh. Never mind. Oh. Ah. So, yeah. Um, I guess if you find the ammo packs, it'll give you, like, batteries and stuff, and then you just, you could just use, I guess the batteries are just the ammo, maybe? Maybe, maybe not? But, yeah. Pretty unique weapon, I guess. Okay. Come here. Want some? You want some? You want? No? Wait, you cool? Okay. Alright, he chill. I like these chill slashers. But yeah, that's basically how the experimental weapon works. Pretty cool, not gonna lie and stuff. Um, yeah. Now let's get shit. Okay, so, um, now let's just equip the next weapon. It's the, I think there's a new weapon. I think that's what it said, right? Where, where's that new weapon? Um, or was it that? I don't know. Um, Ah, four four runners. So four runners, slower firing, harder um hitting side arm issue to experience. Hunt operatives reloading with one shot left drawn um dramatically reduces reload time, but this decreases your speed. Okay, sounds pretty interesting. You know, we might actually try this in game as well. All right, and that was the Harbinger. I I I hope I'm getting that name right. Um, but. Yeah, um, that, this is supposed to be the last one you actually get from the Season of the Yeti Battle Pass. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Survive the night battle. All right, extremely high damage, anti-material weapon, very heavy with lower than usual, ammo uh, maximum. Well, damn. <laughs> I feel like this could be, that's gonna be like used too much. Okay. Um, Was there anything else? Deep night. To be honest, I don't really even know how to get that one. Mm. Oh, damn, this Deep, Deep Night gun came out, like, a month ago. Wow, I am very late. So, um, it seems that in the refresh update, like, where the Season of the Yeti pass came came back and stuff, it seems that they actually added a few things and stuff, and since I didn't realize it, because it didn't really say, say you know, and stuff, um, I guess I kind of missed a few stuff then, huh? Shit. Okay. Okay, so it seems that to get this Deep Knight gun, you gotta survive what behind completely once the death timer hits zero. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Oh yeah, also the new slasher skin. Arctic Operative, which is basically just the uh, Hunt Operative, but it's just Arctic, so we really don't even re need to review it, so. Yeah, that's basically it and stuff. Um... Also, armor, armor, um, let's see, where is that one again? Alright, polar! Yeah, the polar armor. And this is the polar armor. Um, this, I mean, and you get this from the Season of the Yeti Pass. Not the Haunt Operatives Pass, the Season of the Yeti Pass and stuff. Yeah, all the new things are in the Season of the Yeti Pass, not in the Haunt Operatives Pass and stuff, so. Yeah, um, not that much. And stuff, just hunt the hunt hunt armor, but I guess you know, just in like the North Pole, I guess maybe. Don't, yeah, not that special, I guess. And also the Yeti Hunter. And the thing about this one is that it actually came out like during the refresh update of Season of the Yeti and stuff. And for some reason, I still got it, even though I didn't even get the Pumpkin Smasher one. Damn. Yeah. So the so the Pumpkin Smasher armor can no longer be earned. Damn. And yeah, this is the Yeti Hunt. Oh yeah, and there's also a new tool. I forgot. Um, I think it's in the consumables, maybe. No. Okay, I gotta make this quick so that. Yeah, climbing pick. Swing your climbing pick, dealing with moderate damage and staggering the target. Limited durability. Damn. All right. Um, did I miss anything? No, I didn't. Yeah, we were really don't even need to review these and stuff since like they're really not that useful and stuff. All they are would just. Which is for the experimental, you know, weapon, so, yeah. Hey, yeah, you know, I'm actually gonna try and survive Left Behind until the death timer and... No, okay. Oh, yeah, and also the Yeti voice. Yeah, and it's literally just... It's literally just the Ye Yeti's voice from Season of the Yeti, so... Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, of course. As soon as I review something, I become the anomaly, so th that's just great. Okay, anyway, so, um... This is the third time we become the slasher, like... What?! If it makes me the slasher again, I swear to god, I'm gonna be so pissed. Alright, finally, okay. Alright, as I was trying to say, like, four times already. Alright, so, um... I cannot really see shit, um... Whatever, okay. Um, he... Here is the Forerunner, um, and we also have the Climbing Pig tool and stuff, so let's just go find, or you know, let's just shoot it real quick, I guess. Damn, hold on. Yeah, see, now I think it decreased our speed and stuff, so... Yeah, so basically, um, when you re when you reload like your like the ammo on your gun and stuff, it'll basically just decrease your speed and stuff. And yeah, that's basically like a like in short, like in a nutshell, I guess. So yeah, but now let's try the climbing pick. Shit! Hold on, wait, come here, come here, real quick. Wait, I need I need to talk with you. Why can I not fucking... There we go, we used it. 
Okay. Yeah. So, it, it's basically just gonna stagger, you know, the, the slasher and stuff. How can- why can I not see that much in this map now? I swear I could see it better. Wait, you know what? Hold on. Real quick, let me actually show you where that blue key card is real quick, since we're in the map, I guess. Yeah, so like I said, like, just go across here and stuff to the next building. And see this, um, train over here? Yeah, go over here and stuff, next to it, not on its left, but it's on, on its right. And then you'll find something blue, and it's a hunt operative who's dead, who had a blue key card, who probably died from this train that probably just came out of the sky out of nowhere. Um, and yeah, you basically just take it. And boom, you get the blue key card and stuff, so, yeah, I guess I, yeah, just decided to do that, you know, since, I mean, we were in the map already, so. And yeah, you can hear the Yeti voice and stuff, so, yeah. Seriously, like, no, act, no joke, though, like, I literally became, like, the slasher, like, three times, like, three to four times, like, like, in a row and stuff, like, like, Bro. And yeah, the last one, the Harbinger, the weapon that everyone is using right now that is very OP from what I see, because usually, because, so yeah, from what I saw from, like, the people I saw, like, with this weapon, like, once you shoot this at the slasher, they're immediately dead and stuff, like, they just, they, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, it's very OP, just one shot, and, and boom, and boom, they're, like, staggered, and, you know, and stuff, and just get spawned around the map somewhere, and stuff, so, yeah, can't wait to actually try it, honestly, and it seems that people are not gonna pick, you, you know, like, the left behind map and stuff, and do, and for, for, for me, like, trying to make more videos today and stuff, I'm just gonna, like, um, hold on, yeah, so, so, for, to, to just, like, avoid, like, taking a while of, like, playing the Left Behind chap, like, map and stuff for this video and stuff, and, and because I have to record a few more videos today, I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, like, not, I'm um, not, like, you know, review the Deep Gun map, Deep Night map, because from what I saw from a comment, you need to, like, complete Left Behind when the death timer hits zero and stuff, and then you'll get the Deep Night gun. So, hopefully I get that right. Um, I'll probably make, like, a short, like, a YouTube short and stuff of reviewing that Deep Night Gun and stuff, and instead of actually making a whole video, you know, because, like, that would be kind of useless. I mean, it, it would probably be, like, only, like, a few seconds long and stuff, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, now, finally, this is the Harbinger. I, I most likely got the name wrong, but, yeah, um, one shot with the slasher, and then, boom, they're dead. Like, <laughs> so... Yeah, let's just find one of the slashers, I guess. And just get a headshot. See that everyone almost has it. Boom! See? One shot, and then boom, they're dead. See, I can tell this is going to be very OP with other people. And probably by the end of this month, people... Are Everyone's gonna have it equipped it and stuff because, of course, it's gonna be like kind of rigged and OP, you know. So, yeah, probably gonna be my favorite weapon now. I'm probably gonna be more easier to like complete like these kinds of quests, you know. All I have to do is just equip this weapon and then boom, slasher scared of me. So, yeah, and yeah, it seems that like it also decreases your speed and stuff like quite a lot, and also like, um. Like, recharges the ammo and stuff, like, a little bit more longer, like, longer and stuff. And I can definitely see why and stuff, since it's so OP, you know, and kind of rigged. Yeah. And now we have the Infected Taunt, the last thing in this update. That's it. It's only just the Infected. And yeah, that was the whole update of, Sur of Survive the Night, a.k.a., um... Oh, they don't have the update board here. It's shit. Update 7.2.0, or just 7, or just update 7.2, whatever you want to say. But yeah, um, they got such watching and stuff. I'm always gonna play, like, update 7.2.5 and stuff. But if you're gonna see that, I think I'll do. Also, if you have any other, like, survive, like, the killer type games and stuff, you just, where you just basically survive, like, 
like any monster or something. If you just want me to play more Roblox experience like that, so just then so just along the group on my world to the Pokemon YT group. It, it, you can either click the link in the description below or you just do the long way, just search up a Roblox to the Pokemon YT group and it's most likely to be the first one to pop up. Also if the game is not like also if the experience is not like Xbox support or anything, I'll just like tell you that it's not Xbox support yet and stuff. But if it does become Xbox support, then I'll make sure I will still play it. Also, um, Skibidi Toilet experiences are not allowed. Not allowed. And you can obviously tell why. Also, Fortnite Supply 5 the end will be coming out on January 1st, 2024, and launch new ground release on January 5th, 2024 with an ending and some secrets. Um, and also the animation rewind of 2023 for uh, my animations will be coming out um after like four nights point five the end um the end's premiere and stuff aka just 8 30 a.m and stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please watch this video as always peace out